was that? What was that? A werewolf? Are we under attack? No, Barbara. It's the moon. It's so big tonight. I think it's gonna explode. <laughs> Aish, the moon's not going to explode, even if it looks like it. But why does it look so big? Huh? I'm not sure. Hmm. But no one knows more about the moon than werewolves. Dad, let's find a werewolf. <laughs> I think I just did. Oh. oh, sorry, explorers. I couldn't hear you over all the howling. This is my favorite time of the month. It's when the moon is a giant full moon and I get to shapeshift. But the moon isn't always like this. The reason why the moon looks different every couple of days is because it does a slow little dance around the Earth every month, and the special dance is called an orbit. As the moon orbits the Earth, it goes through eight different phases of life, and the light from the sun hits it differently at every phase. The first phase of the moon's life is called a new moon. We usually can't see it in the sky because it's very dimly lit. After a few days, the light hits the moon a little more as it grows, and it turns into a crescent moon, and then a quarter moon, and a gibbous moon, before it turns into my favorite, a big, bright, full moon. After the full moon phase, the light on the moon begins to grow thinner, so the moon looks smaller as it returns to a gibbous moon, a quarter moon, and finally, back to a crescent moon. So what the werewolf is saying is that the moon's not gonna explode? Exactly, Hayden. The moon just appears bigger tonight because it's in a full moon phase. Ah, that makes sense. I'll try not to be scared next time it looks different. And I'll try not to be scared the next time I hear a werewolf howl. Oh. <gasps> See, not scared. What if you forget one of the phases, Marmar? Great question, Hayden. I can show you a fun experiment to help you remember all the phases of the moon. Yay! All you need are two large clear plastic cups, a black Sharpie, and a red Sharpie. Using your red Sharpie, draw and fill in a small one inch circle on the center of one of your cups to represent your full moon. Place this cup into the second one and label the full moon. Next, using your black Sharpie and the full moon as a template, slowly rotate the cup to draw the remaining seven phases of the moon and label them accordingly. And explorers, make sure to ask a parent to help you write the phases in the correct order. Yay! Now you can see how the moon changes from a new moon to a crescent moon to a quarter moon, to a gi... A gi... A gi... A, what is it again? A gibbous moon! Oh yeah! A gibbous moon! And from a gibbous moon, it changes to a... That's right, explorers! A werewolf's favorite moon, a full moon! Along with lots and lots of glitter. Oh! Those glittery things in the sky are actually all stars. What exactly is a star, Marmar? Stars are giant burning balls of gas. Ew! So they're stinky? <laughs> no, not that kind of gas. They're not stinky, but they're super hot, like the sun. The sun is a star? It is! And there are many, many other stars that are bigger and brighter than our sun, but they're just super far away. How far away? like billions and billions of miles away. That's why they look so small to us. Just like we orbit the sun and the moon orbits the earth, billions of other planets orbit all the other stars in space. If there are so many other stars and planets out there, that's probably where all the aliens live. And they probably have cooler skies and moons than we do. Maybe, but our sky is still really cool. We can see lots of things at night. Like constellations, when different groups of stars come together to form different shapes and patterns. One of my favorite constellations is 
Orion. Whoa, it's so pretty. I know, right? And one of its brightest stars is a thousand times bigger than our sun. It's called Beetlejuice. A Beetlejuice of a beetle? Ew, yuck. Never mind, it's not so pretty anymore. <laughs> no, that's just what it's called. Let's look at a different constellation. This one looks like a bear. That's exactly what it is. It's the Great Bear, another famous constellation. Hey, that's a corgi. Aw, it's so cute. Explorers, the more you use your imagination, the more constellations you can find in the sky. Ooh, look over there. Ooh, look at that one. Now let me show you another one of my favorite constellations. What is that? Ooh, that's a bed because it's way past our bedtimes. Fine, we'll go to bed. Thanks for taking us to space, Marmar. Yeah, thanks, Marmar. Ooh, good night, explorers. Ah. Explorers, remember, you don't have to be an astronaut or an alien to travel to outer space. All you need is a bit of imagination when looking at the night sky before going to bed. I'll see you next time. Bye, Explorers. It's working. Wow. Welcome, Explorers, to my first vlog ever. I am Marmar, and this, this is where I live. This is home base. Welcome. Today is going to be a great day. How do you feel? I'm excited right now. Are you excited? Come, if you're excited, please just jump. Jump up with me. Jump. Jump. Jump high. Jump as high as you can. Ah! And jump low. Jump really low. Like low. I'm super excited to be vlogging. <laughs> Oh, ah, 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 hi, Explorers! Welcome to Home Base! Oh, I was not expecting you. You guys scared me. Oh, oh wait. The other Explorers don't know you guys yet. We, uh, you guys should tell us your name, your favorite color, and your favorite thing to do. You down? Okay, let's do it. All right, Ayush. Hi, Explorers. My name is Ayush. My favorite color is red, and my favorite thing to do is build Lego. Awesome, Legos! Hi, my name is Hayden, and I, my favorite color color is pink, and I love to make slime. Hi, my name is Beckett. My favorite color is sky blue, Ooh. and I love to hug my dog, Rosie. <laughs> Hi, Explorers, my name is Avalon. My favorite color is, let me think, just kidding, yellow. My favorite thing to do is singing and dancing. Bam. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, guys, Explorers, there's actually someone that I want you guys to meet. Ooh. This hey. is Paris. He's a very young dragon, only a hundred years old. That's not young. One hundred years is old. Yeah, but for humans, but not for dragons. Dragons can live for thousands of years. Whoa! Hey, what about me? Oh, oh, Cloudy. Um, of course, Cloudy. I, I wouldn't forget about you. Explores this. Oh, is Cloudy. Hi, guys. You want to hear a joke? Uh, yeah. What do you call a fairy who hasn't taken a shower? Stinker Bell! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wait, wait, uh, guys, what's, what's, uh, what's going on? What's going uh, on? Uh, oh no, it's getting dark. What's going on, Marmar? I'm scared. What's going on? Um, there's definitely something very wrong. Uh. Uh, okay, Explorers, do you guys know what could be the problem? Oh no, we have a problem. I don't like problems. Me neither. Nothing's ah! working. <laughs> explorers, 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 please remain calm. We have a problem, but we don't need to be afraid of problems. Listen. Stay calm, stay cool. And remember just one rule When you're scared And you're faced with something tough Be confident and say Hey, we've got each other, okay Not thinking yet in a way No point in making the fuss Cause the problem
mom's got nothing on us. Sometimes the challenge is fun. You'll feel proud when it's done. Solving it now is a plus. Cause the mom's got nothing on us. The mom's got nothing on us. The mom's got nothing on us. Let's figure this out. Everything seems to be working for them, but I don't understand what the problem is. Oh, I know someone who can help us. Come on, let's go to the lab. This is Dense. Hi, Dense. Dense? That's a weird name. It's quite all right, Miss Hayden. Dense is a nickname. My true nomenclature is Deacon Eroth Nancy Socrates Eldritch. That's a mouthful. That's why we shortened it. It's actually D-E-N-S-E, -E, dense. All his names actually mean smart. Well, except for Nancy, but he knows almost everything about everything. Well, most things. So what's 5,000 minus 345 minus 1,356 minus 434? 2,865. What's the capital of France? Paris. Who was the first person on the moon? His name was Neil Armstrong. I have a question. In the world, are there more trees or buildings? Trees, of course. Wow, you're smart. Well, thank you. I have a lot of knowledge, but that doesn't necessarily make me smart. I just know things. Hmm. So do you know why home base is down, Dunce? Of course I do. It's quite simple, really. The slime monster needs slime. Oh. The slime monster needs slime. The slime monster needs slime! Yeah, the slime monster needs slime! But the slime monster needs slime! Yeah, the slime monster needs slime! But the slime monster needs slime! Yeah, okay, let's go! Over here lives a slime monster. Down here, he powers all of home base by eating slime. That's, that, all of this is powered by the slime monster right here. Slime monster, are you down there? Need slime! Um, yes, he's a real monster, Beckett, but he's a nice monster, you know, like some people are nicer than others. Wait, look, look, that's what the problem is. The slime monster needs slime. Oh, that's it. The slime monster needs slime. There's no slime going down him. That, that's we all need we need to get him slime. Yeah, we, we just need to get slime. Where are we going to get slime from? Marmar, can we make slime? Yes, great yeah, idea, Aiden. We can make slime. Yeah. Wait. Mama. Wait. Uh, what kind of slime would the slime monster like? Let's let's go ask Dance. Great idea. Yeah, let's ask Dance to the lab. What kind of slime would the slime monster eat? Well, there are many, many forms of slime in Mama Land. More than I could possibly list. But really? I'd say, hmm. Yes, perhaps some kind of fluffy, glow-in-the-dark slime would be good for him now. He likes that one a lot. And it would power home base for a good while. Marmar, did you hear that? Fluffy, glow-in-the-dark slime! Yeah! <laughs> but you must hurry. The slime monster needs his slime. Otherwise, he will get weak and home base will be unstable. Hurry, make the slime quickly. Oh, the slime monster needs slime. 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 Some slime. Let's do this, Explorers. Let's make some slime. Woo! All right, Explorers, we're going to make some fluffy, glow-in-the-dark slime. Yeah! yeah! Ooh, okay. Sorry. Hey, cool, I'm going to get some glue in. Do you guys already have glue in yours? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit in mine right here. Oh, awesome. look at this. Look at this. It's so clear, right? Ooh, that's the first step. So you guys already have glue. Yeah. My next step is we're going to add in our secret glow powder. 
Yeah. You guys should have your own already, right? Yeah. Should we put the whole own? thing? Yeah, put the whole thing in. Let's do it. Okay, ready? I'm gonna do two. Three, two, two one, go! go! Wow, this looks so cool. Mix oh. it, mix it, mix it. Oh, mix it, mix it, mix it. Look at this slime right here. Look, mine is like glowing pink right now. Whoa! Whoa, yours is green? Yeah. Whoa, so okay, like, let's see. Look, look at it. Look at it. Okay, are you guys ready for the next step? Yeah! Alright, we're gonna take our shaving cream. Alright, let's put a little bit of shaving cream in there. Let's do this. Ready? Shake it up. Shake it up. Okay, mix it up. Let's go. Keep pouring yours in. Oh, nice, nice. Check this out. All right, guys, we've been mixing for a while now. Let's see if this glows in the dark. Oh. Whoa. It works. Whoa. Whoa. It's so cool. <laughs> so it's it's like it's like it's like it's like All right, I'm mixing. Oh, okay. uh, oh, that's a slime monster. Okay, he needs to be happy. Uh, Avalon, Beckett, you guys yeah. gotta go entertain him. Maybe right. um, make him feel better. Like do some, okay. some sort of dance to distract okay. him. And yeah. I'll, I'll keep like mixing. So just one. do not like a cool dance or something, okay? Okay, got it. Let's okay, go. Cool. Right. Just now, but I'll mix this one. Okay. <laughs> Hurry, Marmar. Okay, explorers, can you help me? Let's dance. Yeah. Ready? Let's do it. really upset right now. He's really hungry and really hangry and cranky. So hopefully the dance is going to be good. You're doing good! Okay guys, it's time for the eye contact solution. Let's do okay. this. Okay, put it in. Alright guys, we're going to have to combine these slimes. Okay, here we go. Put yours into mine. Okay. So sticky. Okay, all right, Hayden, go ahead. You can put your slime in no, there. Hayden. Hurry, Marmar, -mar, oh. hurry! Okay, I'm mixing the green slime in there. Oh. Oh. Hurry, Marmar! We, we gotta take this with us. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta go. Come on, come on, Aish. Go. Come on, come on. We gotta go. Go, 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 go. go. Okay. All right, guys. Are you ready to do oh, this? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take the spatula out. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, are you guys ready to pour? Yeah! Okay, let's do this. All right, Slime Monster, in three, in two, in one, let's yeah. pour. Ah. Come on, okay, yeah, open it, yes! Oh, and there it is, yeah, there you go, we got it. That's good, oh, that's good. High five! It worked, Explorer! And remember, when you have a problem, remember that problems can be fun to solve! Okay, let's do a high five! In three, in two, in one! High five! Awesome! I'm ready for adventure! Are you guys ready for adventure? Yeah! Let's go! Explorers, where is there a place that has little to no gravity? The magic door is lighting up. That means somebody's gonna come through it. Explorers, the magic door is lighting up. That means someone's gonna come. Who could it be? Who could it be? Hey, 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 hey. Hi! <laughs> How are you? Good. Good? Are you guys excited to be at home base today? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Yes? Mama, I have a question. What is gravity? <gasps> that is a really great question, Hayden. Actually, I have a perfect experiment to demonstrate gravity. You wanna see? Yeah. All right, here we go. Hey. Ooh. Wait, can you guys jump too? Yeah. Uh -oh. Whoa. Explorers back at home. Can you jump with me? Here we go. Huh. Hey. Whoa. Okay. Did you notice how we didn't float away? That is gravity. Gravity is this magical 
super invisible super glue force that holds us down to the earth. Where is there a place that has little to no gravity? Hmm. I can't think of anything. I, think. I don't know. In space. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's that's where astronauts go and they can float through the air. I am a floating astronaut. Oh, they get to experience no gravity in space. Hmm. I wonder if there's a place I could go to that I could float around like an astronaut and just float through the air. Wait, I think there is a place. I think I can go to it using the magic door right there. I just gotta enter some coordinates now. Okay, here we are. <gasps> the door's lighting up, which means it's ready, Explorers. Here we go. Bye, Explorers. Bye. Here we go. <laughs> Where's this? Oh, I think we're getting close. Flying. Uh, okay. Explorers, check it out. Behind me, in this tube, I'm gonna be floating in there. In this tube right here, I'm gonna be floating in a few moments, but it's not exactly zero gravity. See, there's gonna be air currents pushing me up and gravity pulling me down, which is gonna make me float right there in the center, and I'm gonna experience what it feels like to fly and float through the air. I'm so excited. Wait, but I don't, I don't have a suit on. I just have my regular clothes. It's time to get suited up. Let's go, explorers. All right, explorers, look, I'm in my suit, but I still have my Marmarland shoes right here, and I'm all ready to go. I just flew, and not only did I fly, I controlled my own flight using my hands, using my legs. It's really a good workout. Oh my gosh, it is a lot harder than you think to fly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Explorers, I had so much fun floating through the air. You know, I had, I had all this air pushing me up, and I felt the gravity pulling me down, just like an astronaut. I, I, I felt what it was like to float. It was amazing. I had the best time. I hope you guys had so much fun watching me float through the air too. Soda explosion! Explorers, did you know that if you put Mentos into soda, it explodes? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, who's calling me in the middle of my experiment? Hey, Mama. Hey, Hayden. What's up? You seem a little upset. I've been preparing for the school science fair all year, but since school was canceled, the science fair was called off. Oh. I'm sorry, Hayden. I wish there was something I could do to help. Oh, oh, wait, I can. I'm right in the middle of my soda experiments right now. And you could do them too if your parents are okay with that. Awesome! What's the first experiment? Soda explosion! Soda is full of carbon dioxide, 
That's what makes all those tiny little bubbles. Is that what tickles my nose when I drink it? <laughs> yep. When you shake a bottle of soda, it releases more carbon dioxide, which makes more bubbles. But the Mentos helps the soda make carbon dioxide even faster than normal. That's way too fast. Look out! All right, explorers, which soda? Now I'm do 7-Up orange soda, Diet Coke will produce the most carbon dioxide when we put a Mentos into it. Well, there's only one way to find out. Experiment! Yeah. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's a little tiny baby one. All right, guys, next up, 7-Up. Whoa, this looks pretty good. Okay, that was pretty awesome, 7-Up. As next up, orange soda. Oh. <laughs> okay, so not very hot, orange soda, okay. Next up is Diet Coke. Guys, well, we have a clear winner of which soda gave us the most carbon dioxide, and it was Diet Coke, because that was extremely <laughs> far. Oh my gosh. But what are you going to do with all those empty soda bottles? Hmm. Oh, another experiment. Uh, BRB. Hayden, look out. It's a tornado. Ah! Oh my gosh! Look! Whoa! Cool! A baby tornado! <laughs> I know, right? But it's more like a baby vortex, but still. Super cool, right? What's a vortex? A vortex is a type of motion that causes liquids and gases to travel in spirals. And vortexes are all around us. That's what happens when the water drains from the kitchen sink, a bathtub, or even the toilet. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this mini vortex, this baby vortex. Look at it. I want one. Oh, you want one? Well, you're in luck because they're super easy to make. Check it out. Two soda bottles, duct tape, a bottle of water, and a washer if you have it. First, fill one of your bottles with water. Then place the washer on top. Next, take your empty bottle and duct tape it to the top. Give it a light spin and flip it over. Ta-da! Baby Vortex. But wait, there's more. Check this out. Look, oh, you can add glitter, soap, or foam beads to make your own personalized baby vortex at home. Check this out. Oh, so pretty. Oh. Hey, Marmar, why do all the foam beads float to the top of the water? Excellent observation, Hayden. They float because of buoyancy. <laughs> buoyancy is something's ability to float on a liquid. For example, the balloon is lighter than the water, so it floats. But drop a heavy object into the water and... It sinks like a rock. Oh, so the lighter something is, the more buoyancy it has? Exactly! And I have another cool experiment to help you remember it. Introducing my... Da -da -da -da, submarine! Check out my submarine. Here we go. Wow. It sinks like a real submarine. And then it floated to the top. That's because when it's filled with air, it's lighter and it has more buoyancy, so it floats. And when it's filled with water, it sinks. Get it? Can you show me how to make my own? You're gonna need a water bottle. We can use the same one from the last experiment. Three crazy straws, duct tape, a push pin, three rubber bands, scissors, 
and three stacks of six coins. First, use your scissors to make three small holes in the bottom of your water bottle. One at both ends and one in the middle. The holes will let water into the bottle, which is what makes it sink. Next, take your three straws and duct tape them together. Make sure that the ends touch before you duct tape them together. Make sure one of your ends is the flexible end. Next, place the flexible end of your straw into the water bottle and duct tape it so no water can get out. Explorers, this is important. Make sure you duct tape the straw on the opposite end of the holes. I'll explain why in a bit. Next, take your three stacks of six coins and tape them together, just like this. These are gonna give our submarine weight, which will also help it sink. Now use your three rubber bands to attach them to the water bottle on the same side of the holes. And that's how you make a submarine. I can't wait to play with this. But you know what the coolest thing about a submarine is? It can take you on all sorts of cool adventures if you use your imagination. Let's go. Explorers, welcome to the bottom of Lake Marmar. There's all types of cool creatures down here too. Ooh, look at that one. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, look, it's an eel. Ooh. Oh, look, it's a dolphin. Did you know dolphins are great swimmers, but they breathe air, so when they're diving deeper and swimming, they're actually holding their breath just like you and me. Oh, oh. yeah. Um, explorers, uh, I think we're being followed. Oh, what was that? Ah! Oh, wait, <laughs> that's just a crab. Crabs aren't scary. I think our imaginations are getting the best of us. It's time to return to dry land. Thanks, Marmar. For what, Hayden? This was way better than the science fair. Now I know a bunch of things to teach my friends. Nice, and thank you so much for coming along on my science adventure. I'm gonna call Ayush and teach him all about soda explosions, vortexes, and buoyancy. Bye, Marmar! Bye, Hayden. Have fun, I hope you learned a lot today. All that science sure made me thirsty. Ah. Oh man! Explorers, a lot of fun things have been put on hold because of coronavirus. But we could actually use our imagination and learn about a lot of fun things right here inside our homes. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! There's tons of space things in there. Guys, we have the sun, but none of the other planets are in the right order. Should we put them in the right order? Let's go! Open up the magic door, it's time to explore in my mind. Explorers, the door is lighting up. Look at it, the door is lighting up. That means somebody is coming through the magic door. Who could it be, Explorers? Who could it be? Ah! Ah! Hey guys, how are you? Are you guys excited to be at home base today? Yeah! Hey, Marmar, what's over there? Huh, what is that? Let's, let's go check it out. Oh, what is this, guys? Yeah, what? I Does think it look familiar? It looks like the solar system. The solar system? Oh, yeah, Ooh. you're absolutely right. I used this looks exactly like the solar system. Yeah. Guys, we have the sun, but none of the other planets are in the right order. Should we put them in the right order? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Okay, hey, Cloudy! Can you help us order these planets? Yeah, Marmar, absolutely! Awesome! <laughs> all right, let's start out with the sun, explorers, because we know this is the biggest star that all the planets gravitate around. Yes. Yes, okay, so we have the sun right here. Perfect. Which one goes next? Uh, uh, maybe, oh, oh, Earth. Yes, this, is, yes, yes, this is where yes. you guys live, yeah? Yeah. Earth, okay. I'm gonna place that right here. Okay, hey, Cloudy, does that seem right? Does, does Earth go right next to the sun? No, no, it's not first. Oh, oh, Earth is at first. Hmm. Okay, Explorers, which one do you think is oh, first? I think I know. I think it's Mercury. All right, let's see. Oh, here we go, Explorers. This is Mercury. Okay, I'm going to place it right here next to the sun. Let's ask Cloudy if that's the right way. Okay. 
Hey, Cloudy, is Mercury next? Yep. Yeah! yeah! Nice, you got it right. Nice. High five, okay. Good job. All right, Explorers, this is Earth. Check it out. You can see the clouds water. and water. Yeah, this is where you guys are from and possibly some of the explorers back at home. This is the planet you guys are from. Let's see if it's the next planet in the solar system. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and place it right here next to Mercury. All right, so so far we have the sun, Mercury, and Earth. Is that correct, Cloudy? No, you're close, but not second. Oh, okay, okay, what could the next planet be? Oh, oh that blue one. Saturn. Hmm, okay, I'm not sure about Saturn explorers, but what about mm -hmm. Venus right here? This Venus. is Venus. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Should we try this one? Yes. yes. All right, Cloudy, is this the correct format order? You are correct. Yes. Yes. All right. All right, explorers, so to recap, we have the sun right here. We have Mercury. Mercury. And we also have Venus right here. I'm pretty sure I know. This has to be it. Yeah? I know the solar system really well, but not always. Uh -huh. But I think it has to be Earth. It has to be. It has to be? Yes. Yes? Earth. Yes. Earth. yes. What do you explorers think? Is it Earth? It has to be Earth. Is it the planet you guys are from? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go place it. This Look at it. It's so beautiful and blue and green. It has to be the Earth. Here we go. I'm going to place it down right here. Let's see. I'm gonna place it perfectly on its axis, just like it is in real life. Great. All right, Cloudy, is Earth the next planet? Yeah! yeah! Okay, so I'm gonna grab Mars. Mars. Okay. Do you guys think it's Mars next? Yeah! Okay, what about you, Elijah? Do you think it's Mars? Yeah? yeah? Mars? Okay, we have Mars right here, Explorers. It's the big red one. I'm gonna go ahead and place it right next to Earth. All right, here we go. Let's see. Hey, Cloudy, is it Mars that's next in the solar system? Yeah! yeah! Awesome! All right, I'm gonna place Uranus down and let's okay. confirm with Cloudy this is the right one or not. Okay, here we go. I placed him down right there next to Mars. All right, Cloudy, is that the right order? No, it's gotta be a little further from the sun. Oh, that makes sense, okay, because Uranus is one of the coldest planets and the sun is super hot. It would make sense that Uranus is a little bit further. Yeah. All right, yeah. so what do you guys think the next planet would be? It has to be Jupiter? Let's try it out. This is Jupiter. It's the largest planet in our solar system. Yes, okay, let's place Jupiter here and let's see if this is the correct order of our solar system. Here we go. Cloudy, is this the correct order? Yep. Yeah! Okay, cool, we're making progress. Okay, what is next, guys? Saturn? Saturn? I'm gonna place Saturn right here next For to Saturn? Jupiter. Yes. Okay. Hey, Cloudy. What's the letter? Is, uh, is Saturn the next planet in the solar system? Nailed it! Woo! So we have the sun, we have Mercury, we have Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Huh, okay, so we only have one other choice, guys. It's Uranus. It's Uranus, yeah. Okay, cool. So, should we just go place it? Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to place Uranus right here next to Saturn. I mean, it is the coldest planet. Right here, it's the coldest planet, and that means, you guys know where this goes, then? Yeah! It goes last. Okay, great. So, I'm putting Neptune, this is the planet Neptune, right next to Uranus, right there. And then we have our solar system. Let's, yeah, let's ask Connie if this is 100% correct. We got to confirm. Hey, Cloudy, is this is this the correct order? You guys are right. You're so smart. Yeah. 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 Awesome. All right, Explorers, we're going to recap the entire solar system one more time. I think you guys know what it is, so do it with me. All right, we have the sun. Uh, we have Mercury. Mercury. We have Venus. We have Earth. Earth Mars, Mars. Jupiter. Saturn. Saturn Uranus. Uranus Awesome, we did it! We ordered the solar system correctly. <laughs> Can I tell you a secret? All about our galaxy. Strung along by gravity called the Milky Way. We are a part of it, turning even as we sit in every planet in the sky. Brighter than a firefly revolves around the sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars.
Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. You and I. Every planet in the sky revolves around the sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. You and I. Every planet in the sky revolves around the sun. Everything revolves around the sun. Everything revolves around the sun. You and I revolve around the sun. Why don't I go to a space museum? Yeah, I could use the magic door and go to a space museum. That would be awesome, right? Yeah. Time to enter some coordinates to the magic door. Here we go. All right, coordinates. Oh, it's glowing. And then one more. The magic door is now ready for me to travel to the space museum. Bye, force. Bye, guys. Here we go. Explorers, I'm here at the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles, California, and there's tons of space things in there. I'm really excited to see what they have. Let's go check it out. Explorers, check this out. This is what the sun looks like. Isn't this awesome? This is the moon. Look at it. There's so many craters on it. Look how big it is. This is just a model of it. But look, this is an actual moon rock. Here is one of the first people on the moon, Buzz Aldrin. Look at him. Look how cool he looks in his astronaut suit. This is a meteorite. This actually flew through space. Look at it. Explorers, thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun learning about the planets today. Bye, see you next time. Thank you all for joining us and having so much fun. It's time for us to leave you now, but remember the adventures never done. You want to make the world a better place? Share a smile, illuminate, don't hate. Never hesitate to pour peace and love into every day. Be strong, be long to the right, not wrong. Look down, look all around till the truth be found. And always be ready to spread your kindness like confetti. Come on, spell it with me. Uh-huh. Let me hear you. What is it? Catch you soon!